Meg persuaded Tyler to buy an Emmy Award, but thrown out of nominations, celebrities snub her from parties. Emmy nominations voting runs from June the 15th to the 26th. The primetime Emmy nominations will be announced on July the 12th. When a journalist of Variety predicted the Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan would be in the top nominations, a source close to the Emmy organisers leaked. Meghan's film is never on the list of nominations. Someone suggested this movie for the award show, but overall the docuseries is just a family drama with the poor acting of some of the characters. It's more like a daily reportage. Moreover, Meghan's Netflix reality show only gained lots of viewers and made money because it was a train wreck that people were curious about. Any Emmy nomination won't be given to something that broke records for the highest number of dislikes on all of its trailers on YouTube. Variety ought to know the difference between a commercially successful show and a true quality production that got rave views. Megan's show was also mocked and trolled relentlessly throughout the world. It received no rave views. There's no way that Megan and Harry are getting an Emmy nomination. Another source also leaked that Megan may persuade Tyler Perry to buy a one, but the Emmy is a prestigious award, so it's difficult to buy one. She was probably burnt by Hollywood when she was on Suits. Some of those call-outs on the Spotify show were very specific, so she thought she'd return to Hollywood as a glamorous duchess, and they'd regret rejecting her. I'd almost bet that's exactly what happened. It comes as Meghan Markle is allegedly leaving Prince Harry behind as she goes out and heads to bars in Los Angeles, and even desperately texts friends to hang out, according to a new report. The source said that Meghan is regularly spotted out in Los Angeles sans Harry. Meghan mostly went with some normal friends and Marcus Anderson, but wasn't allowed to participate in Los Angeles celebrity parties. She's likely gatecrashing any party she hears about from a publicist or agency, and the hosts are probably too flabbergasted to have her tossed out right away. Madame might be able to get away with this for a few months as people assume she could be a guest of a guest or something like that. If she's doing her patented red flag charm offensive, people will start to give their security a heads up that she's not to be let through. Nor will Americans accept anyone attempting to live like royalty on American soil, demanding titles used in curtsies and head bowing and 10 star treatment. This is America that they live in. Hollywood broadcaster Tim Dillon also described the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as low grade reality stars per the sun, and he called out Markle in particular for trying to get places by getting close to celebrities. All they want to do is hang out with celebrities. I was at a party the other night talking to someone about these people and it's just constant with them. Megan was texting the person I was there with. The point is, they just won't stop. They're like low-grade reality stars trying to attach themselves to anything. He added, I'm literally at the party and they're showing me texts of this woman begging people to hang out. She's trying to get places. Dylan joked that he respects the hustle, but the whole situation is quite sad, and it's just not working. A lot of people at this party were like, we text her back, she's a duchess, but we've had enough, he shared. 